Hello, hello everybody. Selamat datang and welcome to Virtually Pranakan Fest 2023, celebrating our colorful culture. Welcome to the festival. My name is Alvin Un, the organizer and host from Pranakan Sayang. This is our fourth year of this annual festival to keep our culture alive and kicking. And it's for Pranakans all around the world. So do say hi in the comment section and tell us where you are watching this live stream from. Now, I hope you all have been well. Semua baik-baik. Say heart, say heart. Come see so much for joining us this afternoon on our second day of our Virtually Pranakan Fest 2023. So, we are having a wonderful uh, session right now. Now, many of us have seen but may not know or understand the significance of items at the Baba uh, altar table, which includes all the plates, the food, the offerings, the fruits and the kuei kuei and all that, right? So ancestor worship is part of the Baba Nyonya identity and practice. And so today we are very fortunate to have with us uh, Baba Thomas Tan, who will be sharing. And, we'll, and before we bring him on, so also like to thank uh, the president of uh, PPCM Peranakan, uh, Persatuan Peranakan China Melaka, uh, Baba Peter Ong, for suggesting and supporting our program. And let's bring on Baba Thomas Tan. Hello, Ba. Apa kabar from Melaka? Kabar baik semua. Apa kabar nyonya-nyonya, Ba, 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 all around the world? Very good. How are you, Ba? Fine, thank you. Excellent. So, Ba, just to, before you begin your presentation, I'd like to check with you because this is, is something that is passed down from the generations. Yeah. So, True. how did you learn and uh, how many years have you been practicing this? Okay, actually, uh, this part of the story is that I did not learn. I was invited to observe one particular smile abu process uh, from this family. And from there on, uh, it carry on to two families, or the maternal part and paternal part. So I've been following this family and including a full funeral rites of this family for the past eight years. Mm. So uh, it's uh, amazing to know what they do in, on each Mayang Abu, whether it's for the festival day or the uh, anniversary or Siki day. It's a wonder that changes do took place in this cooking song. That's so I like yeah. to share before, I would say this particular person is the last of the Pranakan who would do in such a grand scale of special. Wow, wow, such a wonderful uh, thought that you're going to share so much with us. And for those of you who are watching, of course, you may have many questions. Please ask your questions or comments in the comment section, yeah, so that we can try to answer them later on. Now, this topic that uh, Thomas is going to share is called Laut Pao Sembayang Abu, Delicacy in Ancestor Worshipping. So, without further ado, Ba, please take okay. over. Hello again once, everybody. Nyonya Nyonya Ba 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 Ba. I'm, I'm sure that you have seen how Sembayang Abu has been uh, following by your family. But this particular family has a rather, rather unique where they serve quite a number of delicacies, okay? Their basic uh, main course will be 16 bowls, okay? If you imagine for you to cook eight bowls and eight plates is a uh, fast and a lot of work, imagine that you have to do 16 bowls, 12 bowls of uh, plates and all that. So without further ado, let me commence with today's talk, okay? Delicacy in Lao Pao Man Abu or Delicacy in Ancestral Worshipping. Just a walkthrough. Uh, yes, just a walkthrough by me, Baba Thomas Tan from Lekker. Okay, let's go on with the next slide. Okay, they normally start the table with offerings of fruits. Okay, I will not go to detail in this place. We just go through the beginning of the uh, setting up of this table and uh, delicacies. Okay, this is the back portion, and uh, another one will be the front portion. Alvin, please, next. Okay, this is the front portion when you look uh, towards it. Basically, this is how the, they set up first. Fruits are always the first to be offered. Next, please. Okay, let's go to the delicacies, okay? We start with, uh, let me be clear here, because a lot of people say Lao Piring and Lao Mangko, but here I further uh, define it. Lao Piring is actually sauce, uh, the plate is saucer, and these are all very small plate of serving. So next, please. 
Okay, these are all appetizer uh, done by this particular person or any Pranakan family. Okay, the first one we go for is Acha uh, Bawang Mera, or we call this. Uh, uh, if we can have the next slide, please. Yeah, pickled shallots. Okay, it's similar. All these are actually, all these four items can be cooked by the same sauce and pickle in the same sauce, but normally they don't mix together. Okay, one of them, the first one here is pickle shallot. Next one is the very most popular acha sumbat or acha uh, paya rampi nyonya, pickle chilies. Next will be the pickle cucumbers or acha timun, which all these will come together with the chilies. And another rare one, Another rare one will be acha uh, ikan asin. Normally, they use the kurau variety or mackerel variety. Okay, all these four can be uh, pickled in the same sauce when they uh, when they do it. Okay, next we have. Uh, okay, this is another old school, which is the green chili. You just break it off and soak it in uh, vinegar. So we see chili ijo sama cuka atau chili ijo pata sama chili cuka. Green chili in vinegar. Okay, another appetizer. Of course, the most popular sambal belacan. A shrimp paste, uh, spicy shrimp paste here. Of course, you need also the limo. Next, please. Another favorite will be the chili cuka. Okay. Uh, chili sauce with vinegar, we normally we dip with anything that we fry. And lastly, is the black soya sauce. Mind you, this is not the light soya sauce like we say tau yu. But why do we have this black soya sauce? Sometimes they say the color so pucha. So they will add a little bit soya sauce for taste and color. Okay, these are all the basic eight lao uh, piring or uh, yes, lao piring before we go to the next lao pinggan. I separate these two, eh? lao pinggan. Uh, Alvin, not this one, Alvin, it's already jump. Okay, lao pinggan. And, okay, now maybe we go through this. So normally a company, the whole table will be a setup of uh, individual rice bowl, tea cups, uh, wine cups and also saucer, spoon and chopstick. Okay, these are always the beginning. And when we have wine and wine cups, if we did not, there will be the something serving in these prayers. If they don't have the wine cup, that means just normal, ordinary food. Okay, tea cups. Next, please. Rice. And yes, of course, our Pranakan like our rice to be on a heat full or a mountain full of rice. Next, please. Okay, yes, we come to the lao pinggan or the side dishes. Over here, you can see nine, but they will add one as we go. Over here, you can see the nine side dishes and they add one as they go. Okay, next, please. Ever popular udang goreng asam. Okay. Uh, fried prawns in turmeric sauce. Is, uh, this is always done by the Pranakan, even for normal food. Next, please. Uh, this is ikan kurau, eh? chili ikan kurau goreng chili garam. Fried fish with uh, salt, uh, chili and salt paste. Another one is, of course, roast pork. We've been a Pranakan, being a Chinese, roast pork is also one of our delicacies, but this one, they bought it and they serve chop uh, to be served on the plate. Next, please. Okay, this is chak bait or we call lean pork fry with ginger. Another popular uh, Pranakan dishes here. Lap chong. Whoever, who will never like lap chong? Eh? This is another delicacy favored by this family ancestors. So they either we fry or steam. Next, please. Uh, this is the modern addition to this family. We call the tom miao, cha tom miao, of stir fried tom miao. Just garlic and stir fry with it. That's all. Last but not least, telo rebus. Okay, normally of the telo ite variety or hard boiled salted duck egg. 
to serve as an appetizer and main main course. I mean side dishes because this family love to eat ducks, eat salted ducks, eat. So they will serve it on every occasion of this family. Next, please. Uh, last but not least, this one is the Losun Ka Tauhu. This is actually a New Year delicacy, but since we can get it year round, so they continue to do it. Next, please. Uh, this is Ikan Sepat Asin. So we fry this Ikan Sepat Asin uh, or fried salted gourami fish. Next, please. Uh, this is the modern version of the chap chai or mixed, mixed vegetable. Okay, that is the egg lao pinggan. Now we go to the main course. Normally, it consists of 12, 16, 20, 24, including drag to 30 if they are in capable hands. Over here, I only taken as one of their so-called festival. This is during the Siki, okay? Siki, so they, they only prepare 16 bowls of it, 16 bowls of main course. Shall we go on, please? Okay, first, this is a uh, two tall or paro babi masak kue. This two tall or uh, this pig stomach with jingo nuts is cooked whole. Eh? We don't cut the uh, stomach because they want the whole because it represents the family. So all these are among the lao, a very important lao, or we say the main lao to be served on ancestor. Okay, followed by the next one, please. Together with the parobabi, we have the lao chin. First one you see here is babi chin, uh, braised pork belly, and this one is similar to the pong te, eh? because these three, I three next three, uh, next dish will be cooked in the same pot. Follow this is just like you see babi chin, now it's ayam ching. This is a spring chicken, right? This spring chicken is a whole chicken, a very small one, cooked together with the babi and also pong te. So these three dishes can be cooked together. And these are among the lao chin, followed by this chap chai kobis. Normally this chap chai will be a whole brown chap chai uh, kobis or cabbage, which is cooked. Oh, this chap chai, kobis and chap chai, normally they are cooked together in the same pot. Next, please. Okay, this is like we all like to drink uh, ite team, but this is babi team, okay? Pork bone soup, salted uh, vegetable soup. So they didn't use the duck, but tulang babi or pork bones. Next, please. This is another... Uh, pork leg, uh, pork, uh, kaki babi masak tauyu hitam, or uh, pork leg braised with black soya sauce. Another delicacy but liked by this family. Next please. Okay, this is ayam masak tempura and they are all cooked in black sauce. Uh, chicken cooked in black sauce, ayam masak tempura, garnish with chili and uh, uh, fried garlic and uh, uh, spring onion. Next, please. Okay, this is babi pongte. This is a different babi pongte that we normally see. The main dish will be the babi pongte, but this family will put a pair of uh, full chicken leg on top, cooked in pongte sauce also. So, this family actually is uh, based on what I know of the family. They say they want a pair of legs on top of this uh, babi pongte to show that the family are all togetherness, all the together, the two hands comes together. So this uh, whole chicken leg will be will come in a pair. They are normally not uh, either two right or two left, but they come in a pair left and right. Next, please. Okay, this is another rare, uh, rare delicacy, ikan blanak masak asam. Nowadays, ikan blanak is not easily found. So, once a while only, I do see them cook this dish, okay? Banak fish in turmeric sauce. Next, please. Uh, this is another favorite by this family. Yuhu cha, uh, tau kwa cha yuhu, okay? It's, uh, this is different than the one in Penang because this one they cook in a bit of tau chiu sauce, okay? Soya cake fried with cuttlefish. 
Ah, the ever popular ayam buah keluak. Okay, chicken in buah keluak gravy. For those who don't know this, in um, uh, East Coast or uh, East Malaysia, we say buah kepayan. While in Indonesia, we call it buah rawang. Next, please. Of course, curry chicken. Another one of the main delicacy that we serve. Okay, this is Nyonya Chap Chai. Actually, this uh, Chap Chai, it shouldn't be at the last portion of it. It should be in the second line together with the Ponte. But uh, anyway, another Nyonya Chap Chai, the popular one that is uh, also liked by this family. Next, please. Uh, this is a new version which recently added love by uh, the late mother of this uh, chef here. It's a uh, vegetable mix uh, fish ball fried okay you want goreng fried fish ball and last but not least ikan tagiri goreng as a uh, garang asam sorry mackerel fish in spicy turmeric sauce you can see all the gravy the what call this bende hit ladies fingers all cooked together next please Okay, this is babi rebus sama tahu, a simple dish which is uh, the pork, actually samchan, the fatty part of it, cooked with uh, soft tahu in a simple broth. Okay, that is the end of the 16 bowls of lao uh, main course. Now we go into the main offering or lao samseng, the three offerings. Over here, you can see uh, two sets of it because they say on a grand occasion, two sets of something will be present one by the male descendant, one by the female descendant. So uh, there is a different serving here. Next, please. Okay, you can see here you got a blanched duck, roasted pork, and blanched chicken. Next. The second one, you can see blanched chicken, roasted pork, and roasted duck. So you can see the two different something serve of, uh, served during this uh, prayer here. Okay, itik panggang, babi panggang, ayam rebus, itik rebus, babi panggang, and ayam rebus. Okay, next please. To complete this something, you have a plate or saucer of uh, yellow mee or yellow noodle, and of course the dry cuttlefish or yuyi. Next please. Yes, uh, to complete. Uh, for this family, they never use dry cuttlefish as part of the something. But if they want to use, also they will use fresh white cuttlefish as a, one of the three something. So if it can be chicken, pork and cuttlefish or duck, pork and cuttlefish. But they will never use dry cuttlefish because they say cuttlefish and noodles are a pair by itself to complete the something. Okay, next please. There's a close uh, view of the roasted duck, roasted pork, and the blanched chicken. Over here, they use the blanched chicken. Uh, they use am kampung because the wings are longer and they can fold the wings into the head. Not like normal days now, we just fold the wings at the back and tidy it up like the duck here, you can see. Next, please. Other main course or lauk pinggan yang lain. Okay. Beside the main course, they were fried, like over here you can see imi goreng or stir-fried imi. Next please. Uh, this is stir-fried, uh, actually, it's, uh, sorry, it's not imi, but just fried, stir-fried mi. Next please. Uh, this is another one, nasi kemudi. Nasi, ke, uh, sorry, nasi kunyit with all the accompaniments of dishes, uh, ayam goreng, udang goreng, ikan asin, telur asin, cucumber, fried egg, uh, uh, and some of the in, what, internal parts, internal or spare parts of the chicken. Uh, this is another we call, uh, I apologize for the wrong wording here, this is called mi masali, it's popular in Johor. The mi is blanched and the, the gravy is poured over a bit like mie rebus, but it's a different taste. Last but not least, 
one of the fam- uh, favorite of this family is nasi putih santan and durian okay you want if you want to accompany it it accompany it with the sambal belacan this is one of the orang kampung makan mia barang okay nowadays in town we don't see people eating this way eh? hot rice eaten with uh, coconut milk and of course durian Another last uh, dish that this family like to do is either ketupat or nasi impe with here you put sambal tai minyak just stir fry uh, spicy chili on me Okay what uh, main course is without the nyonya cakes okay over here we got kuih kering and kuih basah but we will go to kuih basah first Next please. Okay, this family likes to offer to their ancestor three types of kuih kochi. Uh, kuih kochi pula putih, gula uh, gula putih on the top. Uh, kuih kochi uh, pula putih with uh, gula merah bottom left and kuih kochi pula hitam with gula uh, gula merah on the bottom right. So they normally will prepare these three kuih kochi to serve to their ancestors. Next please. This particular uh, festival, there is of course the kuih wajib gula putih and kuih wajib gula uh, gula melaka. Okay, very rare that you can see a family pray this type of uh, with these two kuih wajib. The only time they do this is during the first year ceremony. Okay, semayang satu tahun buat dua tahun. First year ceremony, we pray for the second year ceremony as well. So they will change from the white uh, wajib to the gula maka wajib. Okay, likewise, the next one, dodol. Here you can see the dodol gula putih and the dodol gula melaka. Okay, uh, it's a very rare occasion that I do see this one. That's why I like to share here. Where the dodo putih and dodo uh, gula melaka is served together, but I say it's only served during the first year ceremony. The okay, next please, uh, kueku and angku, kueku mira and ang- uh, angku uh, black angku, also is served at most of the time during uh, this family festival and tiki or anniversary. Eh? They like to serve kueku hitam and kueku mira. It represents the beginning and the end, the happy and the unhappy occasion. Okay, just a close-up of the dodo gula, gula putih. Next, please. Okay, dodo gula melaka. Wajit, wajit gula melaka. Uh, this is the angku. All these pictures are taken during the offering of the ancestor because we did not take it as it is. Okay, next please. Angkul hitam. Okay, lepak kacang. This family also uh, love lepak kacang and they normally serve in three versions. Lepak kacang kosong, uh, sorry, uh, lepak pulut, lepak kacang and lepak rempah. But uh, I'm sorry, I, I didn't include the picture in here. Okay, the kuih kochi. Kuih kochi gula putih. Uh, kuih, uh, kuih kochi pulut hitam gula melaka. Okay, these are part of the fruits and uh, something served. Okay, the fruits are uh, the cakes. Sorry, the cakes and uh, kuih basah and kuih kering. You can see the muruku, kuih teh, uh, kuih baulu. Okay, muruku. And for our Hindu friends, happy Deepavali. And this family love to munch on muruku. This is the spiral muruku and another muruku as well. Yes. Next one, please. Kuih bakul. Okay, this family also like to uh, offer kuih bakul because uh, I believe the great grandma loved to eat kuih bakul. 
So whether it's fresh or fried. Next please. Of course, ever popular Kuitan Nyonya, pineapple tarts. Kui Baulu or Kui Bolu, uh, Malaysia egg cakes. Uh, not forgetting the fruits that you see just now in the beginning, we'll go through individually. On the main occasions, uh, usually the main offering, they will come with herbu and pisang, sugar cane and three combs of padana, normally of the Raja variety. Next please. Okay. The bukare, sugar cane, normally in 15 sticks. Next please, pisang raja, three combs of it. Okay, the side view of the pisang raja. Grapes, uh, whether it's red, black or green. Next please, uh, green grapes. This uh, represents many or uh, many descendants of many children uh, of course apple for peacefulness in the family uh, walai next please mangoes another uh, local delic uh, local fruits here next please oranges or limo And that this is a Chinese light, the slightly greenish version. Another version of Chinese light. Okay, the whole table of serving. Of course, uh, each, each uh, offering, they will have a glass of uh, water and handkerchief to wash. And not forgetting, next please. Okay, you can see the top view of it. Okay, Siri is another uh, offering that this family love, especially the late gra great grandparents love to kunya on this uh, Siri or bitter nut set. Of course, the modern cigarette. And last but not least is tail out TBs indication of the end of the ceremony okay okay we have come to the end of our uh, my presentation i would like to thank Alvin Un for inviting me Satuan Pranakan China Melaka for giving me the lead and I also like to thank the family uh, the Ang and Chong family of Melaka allow me to take photograph and go through their ceremony over the years Wow, Kamsia Ba for that very uh, elaborate uh, presentation of all the wonderful offerings. Now, I've got a few questions on my mind. And for those of you who are watching this uh, live stream, uh, you may have your questions as well. So please do post them on the comment section and we will try to answer them as much as we can. Now, just before we get any questions uh, from our viewers, Ba, I, I have a few questions in my head because I'm very not familiar with all these things. Uh, Please do. Am I, am I, I have the impression that all these uh, offerings are what the that particular family appreciates and the food and enjoy. So it's not really a fixed uh, dishes that is uh, are done by all different families or is it particular only to that family? I have one rule that I normally follow or see people follow. House rule. Mm. That particular mm. house rule, what they want to do about the offering is up to them. But one rule that I follow is you normally offer what your ancestor like, not what you like, the living person like. So you must know what your ancestor, your, your late father like to eat what, your late grandfather like to eat what. You all should like guess or know by that mind now what they love to eat. So normally when we pray ancestor, we will do that. We will pray that something that our parents, grandparents who are no longer with us would love to eat. So this family actually got a lot more, but this is just the, I would say, average the existing both main course that's been served. But they do they do change the menu from now and then. Uh, like one year, they will be praying main 
main festival three, but their city will be seven or eight. So imagine all the delicacy will change from one one uh, offering to the next offering because different ancestor come to play. So you must know the ancestor love to eat what what mm. main course, what side dishes, what cakes, and what fruits they like to eat. Uh, so that so it, it, so it's another way so of it, remembering. Yeah. So it's something that your the ancestors who have passed on their favorite foods right that you are offering the food uh, for them is that right yes okay so how far would you go uh, or would you understand how many ancestors how many levels because you wouldn't know let's say what your great grandfather used to okay. enjoy those, uh, okay, sorry to cut in for the benefit of those who have grandparents who know their grandparents you have the advantage to know that but there's another level is your great grandparents or your acho and macho. Yes. We we don't meet them. So the next person who know will be your grand grandparents. You will know what oh my they will only mention my archer love this delicacy very much. Uh, they like to add this, add that. So these are all the minor, minor information that we need to collect. Then after that we, we know what to do. Uh because uh, those who have, do not have that privilege, I'm sorry, but this is how that um, that particular family work because this particular person remembers what the parents, the mother tell him, the grandparents tell him that which every particular family uh, would love to eat. What is their favorite food? Like cakes, delicacy, all is mentioned. So he will know, okay, this family would like to, uh, this particular grandfather like to eat this, that particular father like to eat that. So. You will know what is the range of food that he likes. So that's how mm. it's been prepared. So is that the reason why there are so many dishes? I mean, this one I is particularly very grand. I think uh it's about one this of the is, biggest. To me, biggest. this is not a grand one. To me, uh. he has served 24 bowls, uh trough, uh what 16 dish plate dishes, you know. <laughs> that is the main one. I only saw twice this okay this so this is not the biggest yet this is not the biggest yet. Uh, okay. <laughs> this is just a standard i will use the word standard but wow. some of my friends who have so, uh, seen this uh, uh when i do presentation say oh uh, this this person is very particular and very what about this over over they say i say yeah. no this, this depends on the family and i like to share because if i don't share it and I don't see other family doing this this uh, type of grand, I will use the word grand serving. Because majority will do four bowls, four plates. Yes. And that is very really grand. Uh, yes. Mm. But this one is uh, really a lot. But it also shows uh, filial piety uh, and praying to the ancestors and also the details that, you know, they really appreciate uh, what the ancestors did for them. That's why they are presenting so many dishes i think that is a, a good way to to look at it what do you think yes okay so okay big question that i have there okay. are so many well to me this is already so many dishes and you say that there's even more yes how long does it take to prepare all these things okay uh let me explain huh? yes the day uh because the two days before the so-called the festival, an invitation was done, inviting the ancestor back home to eat for this festival. Okay, but I only show you one part of it. But he does it in two parts. What we call the morning or breakfast serving, which is not in this picture, because he was served mm. two days before the uh, one day eve of the serving. They will serve this. We call this the breakfast. Okay. Wow. It's actually also half of the table full. You can see the table wow. is full. Half of the table full. Okay. Uh, just let me share a quick one. They yes. include uh, bread, sandwiches, orange, uh, a bit of those olden days, you see, all those uh, salted biscuits soaked in milk. All these are the so called the breakfast. Sometimes they cook uh, fried mee, mee goreng, uh, mee nyonya. Those are all considered breakfast. but what I'm showing is the main course, main section of the day <laughs> of the prayers. Okay, how long does it take to cook? That's a good yes. question. Yes. Uh, on the eve morning, we will do all the quick. Okay, from morning, early in the morning, right to the late afternoon morning. That's the that's the quick section only. 
Okay, mind you that this does not include the three, five types of kuih chang that he does, three lepat, three uh, kuih kochi, two types of kuih ku, and some other kuih basa. On top of buying certain things that the family likes, okay. Then kuih kering, like moruku, sometimes you have those, like New Year, you have additional more that, uh, cookies will be shown. Okay, then main course, how much time does it need to cook? Well, he will get up at 2 a.m., continue cooking until 10 a.m. for everything to be ready. Oh my and goodness. So, uh, he, he alone does it. Uh, when, uh, oh, it's one person? Late, yes. What? When the late... When the late mother is around, the late mother will concentrate on the kuih while he concentrate on cooking. Okay, but just for information, he has stuff, stove, running, concurring, cooking all the delicacies. Wow! Transport. He must be an amazing cook to be able to do so many things at the same time and in such a I, short time. I saw him cooking. La. I saw him cooking uh, because I did not follow from early in the morning. I come only say early morning around 8 o'clock, I can see mm-hmm. all the chocolate on. At one corner, we'll have all the so-called the soup, broth that we need to steamer or cook long. That is one corner. Okay. Mm. And another corner will be like pongke and all that need to be long cooking also, but need in medium time, medium time required. So yes. another three to four, you do the frying simultaneously so imagine that he can go all around the thing but when we i'm there i must learn uh, disrupt his uh, freedom of cooking so i'll stay far away from him once he's ready he'll call me so imagine wow. that all these are in a row he cooks so he knows when and where how to stir when to stir when to turn all that so wow that's amazing if this comes with experience, so he must be a very yeah. experienced person. Then he does he this every year. Uh, yeah, he's uh, this family started from the great grandmother, uh, grandmother, uh, her mother, his mother, and now Karan is taking over. And wow. I wow. I do see that there is no next generation taking over. Ah, so, th- so this will be something that will end may end with him. Yes. Okay. So it's a good thing that you took photos and all that to, to remember what he has done so much for his ancestors. I even learned certain delicacy which we nowadays don't see. Okay. Mm. So example, like we say, babi asam china. When you heard this, you see it's Chinese cooking, but actually it's actually more to local cooking. Okay, babi okay. is already our favorite thing, but it's because of uh, we are from Chinese descendants, so pork mm. is one of them. But this one is similar to, not close to sambal, it also contains chili, bawang, wangbute, blachan, and turmeric. That's all. Okay, mm. and with uh, this uh, lemongrass, titi, or titi, uh, sari. Just that is the thing to do the cooking on it. It is different, but it's yeah. something that I've never seen before. Wow. So, which part of the year do the offerings go on? Okay, the standard offerings will be New Year Eve, Shimbing, and the uh, Seven Moon uh, Festival. But on top of that, the Kui Chang, Moon King, and Kui Yi is also another grand festival for this family, already six. And he has about, I'm guessing about 10 to 12 sikis or anniversaries to follow. So, oh. imagine one year how many times he, has, he does the it's almost like a full-time job yes wow so nowadays he's he getting old he tried to like uh certain close anniversary you combine two into one so yes like. yeah well oh, that's really an amazing effort uh to 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 do this and to continue this it's, it's not easy as well and of course yes. uh it, it costs quite a bit too because there's so many things to to buy and prepare and you know but yeah my so, estimation hmm. for one cooking like what i show you is almost close to two thousand ringgit wow. at the current town almost to two because the pork chicken and duck is already will take quarter of the amount easily mm. so all these things will be held at the home the ancestral home the ancestral home they have two actually, the paternal side and the maternal side. What you mm-hmm. saw was in the maternal home. 
Okay. This is in the maternal home. Rumah so, kampung, you should pick uh, hall. Mm. So to, to wrap up this whole session, I got one more question for you before we say goodbye. Is mm. there's so much food, mm-hmm. what happens to all the food after the prayers? Good idea. Yeah, he good question. Invite, huh? <laughs> yeah, he will invite uh, his relative and all the direct relative come back to have dinner. Okay. Ah. Those who are cannot finish it, they let them tapau home. So right. you don't have to go for the next few days. This, that's why I enjoy the most. <laughs> I can tap out and I don't have to cook for the next few days. And you wow. don't know what to do. There's too many options for you. Right. Oh, wow, there's, there's, there's really so much food and uh, I don't know how many people. How many people can it feed actually? 20, 30 people? Easily. Easily, yeah. Yeah, wow. Really? There's, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of When you food, say eh? Tok Panjang, this is the Super Tok Panjang. Yeah, super Tok Panjang. <laughs> normal Tok Panjang, you only, yeah, normal Tok Panjang, you only have about maximum 10 to 12 delicacies, but this one you have uh, 16 plus 12. Mm. 16 plus 12, you got 28 already. That wow. is just the main, main, course, uh, main course and side dishes. Don't forget mm. the fruits. And the other main cause, the mee goreng, the nasi, kumut, uh, nasi what, uh, kunyit and all that. You see, imagine that a very luxurious or very enjoyable festival to eat. You don't know what to eat. <laughs> okay, Ma. Thank you so much for that wonderful and very interesting uh, presentation. I'm sure everybody benefited from it. And uh, thank you so much for your time. And once again, we're okay. also... Okay. Also, like to thank uh, President of PPCM Peter Ong for uh, supporting and uh, getting Thomas yes. uh, to share this uh, particular program. So this is the end of this uh, program. We certainly hope you enjoyed it. Do follow our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel for our next program that's happening at uh, two p.m. It's going to we're going to Penang with uh, Peter Yeo. We're going to talk about sambal, its history, origins, and impact on Nyonya food culture so please join us there and please click on the link to join us there and this has been virtually Pranakan Fest 2023 my name is Alvin Un and I'll see you soon come see everybody have a good day bye-bye bye